hello again. This is uh, back here on the common, the Indian, the old Indian mortar that was donated by Whiting Gates in 1880 was found by Whiting Gates that year, a uh, native Lumberster resident, and donated to the Lumberster Historical Society, and who gave the mortar stone to the common as a gift to the town, to the new city of Lumberster. And this mortar stone uh, was actually used to uh, prepare meals for the Native Americans. The uh, Nashua, Nashua tribe was the dominant Indian tribe living here in, in our Massachusetts region. The Nipmucks were further in uh, southern Worcester County. But Wilmester uh, really never had uh, Indian trouble. And uh, all the Indian trouble was in Lancaster, which was the mother town of Lemonster. And in 1676, February 10th to be exact, uh, the town of Lancaster was uh, virtually wiped, wiped out by King Philip during King Philip's War. And 20 years later, Lancaster was resettled. And then in 1701, Chief George Tejano signed the new Lancaster Town Grant, which included the northern part of Lancaster, which of course is Lumister, and it went all the way to Nkichi Whalum, the shining waters of Lake Whalum, in the deep. And uh, Chief George Johano did not want war with the white settlers. He preferred uh, peace, and the treaty was honored. And uh, this is how Lancaster and Lumister were formed. And 39 years later, <coughs> Lumister became its own township under the Houghtons. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, Nashua tribe is now extinct. They were uh, killed by the English in some of the war of King Philip, and then a lot of them were pushed out west and up north into Vermont and New Hampshire. And uh, the rest of them also uh, in intermingled as well, <coughs> so there are uh, no real traces of <coughs> direct Nashua Indians left here in Lumberstock. Um, a final legacy of them is the tribe back in the 16th, 15th centuries that settled on the river here, running through Fitchburg and Lumberstock. And I think you can correlate as to how the Nashua River got its name. The Nashways were hunters of deer, and uh, they also did a lot of fishing. That's why they were <clears throat> on the banks of the Nashua River. And uh, they also husked corn. They had the corn on the Indian uh, mortar stone. So this is a uh, tribute to the Native Americans that were in Lumberstone prior the English colonists uh, that came here in the very early 18th century. And the bottom of this monument is the actual cornerstone of the Old Town Hall that burnt down in 1909, and the new city of Lumberstone decided to make a permanent memorial of it here on the common. So, memorial has two different meanings, but uh, Primarily, it's a tribute to the uh, Native Americans, and especially uh, to a tribe that no longer exists. Thank you very much.